Danish, I really need your help today. I have about one hour until I got to prepare um, and and execute on a QBR for one of my VIP clients. Can you help me? Yeah, sure. Let's let's uh, crank it out. Their their name is Turner's Machine. They're one of my largest uh, VIP clients. Okay. Big manufacturing company, and they have uh, consistent issues that I want to talk to you about. Okay, so issues. Perfect. Okay, so um, you are going to do like the QBR in an hour, right? So we don't have so much time uh, to prepare. Um, so what I would do is I would suggest to use probably the IT infrastructure audit uh, with this client quickly uh, and go through. So what's the issue? Why you are worried? Yes, um, three main issues are essentially that are bogging down our resources on our operations is that they have poor Wi-Fi in certain rooms in the office. So I'm looking at a Wi-Fi project that I can communicate to them. Um, they have consistent CRM issues that are not currently managed, but they've asked me to look into it and perhaps take this on as a project with them. Okay. And uh, and another thing is is one of their users got crypto crypto lockered two months ago, and they're severely low on compliance. So a big password compliance um, is what I'd like to push to them. Okay. Um... So typically what we see, Adam, is that uh, when you have to react on somebody's problems, it's much easier if you put this whole thing into a more proactive context. So uh, going back and saying, oh, we need to do the Wi-Fi application password, it seems to be reacting on what they wanted rather than being obvious that you are actually knowing those issues and that's basically uh, we should cover that in a higher sense so i would i would adjust something up front to uh, review the it health assessment so we are going to go through a quick assessment so we are going to have a score and that's going to indicate the issues what basically you are proposing to solve Right, so it's coming not from them; it's coming from somebody, some some other places. And the other thing, what I would suggest to go through is like introduce the uh, client client success process, uh, and this is basically your account management process. So in this case, you are able to kind of wrap up this whole thing that that's going to be a next quarterly business review and things like that. So. Uh, nothing else, save it here. Meeting notes, we're gonna cover that. We like you're gonna cover that when you have a meeting. Action items, your them, and the follow up schedule. So, nothing else really more to prepare. It's really quick. So, the next thing what I would like to ask quickly is uh, what are these projects you are looking for to solve? You to told me something about a Wi Fi, implement a proper Wi Fi. Is that Correct. Exactly. I'm not sure what the issues are. They could be structural, but there definitely needs to be some scope there to see what, how we can. Okay. So here's the thing. Uh, this is a template. Uh, so <clears throat> what we usually do is like we open up this template and that code implement a proper Wi-Fi environment, right? But it's actually can be tied into the uh, scoring mechanism as well. So I'm going to just try in this report to search for Wi-Fi. And basically, there is a place where we are talking about quality of network security, segmented Wi-Fi, and also we have um, another way to check whether we have some type of thing is like probably wireless. Perfect. Oh, office infrastructure, switch wireless network. Perfect. So the problem is they, they don't have your preferred solution for that. Is that correct? Exactly. Awesome. So what we're going to say is that they have a other wireless access point, something like that. That's the current state. That's going to give us a red score. And we're going to say the future state is going to be 100% score, and the solution is implement a proper Wi-Fi. We are going to edit that a little bit later. But what I'm about to say is that in the comment section, what was the issue with them, Adam? Uh, uh, Specifically in two rooms, in their marketing and sales rooms, they lack poor Wi-Fi connection to their devices. Not, um, or poor connection reported. 
Perfect. So is it a yellow or a red flag? I would say it's red, red because it's impacting their, their sales and marketing operations. Really good. Now, you see that? So what we did quickly, that we created the context of this problem and the solution with this relation. Now, if I go up a little bit, uh, you see that this uh, item, wait a sec, which one is that? Perfect. This one is actually the, the linked item from coming from bottom. We can create on the fly, but the problem is here explained like basic terms and the benefit, basic terms and the deliverables. We can say to the deliverables of the project, scope or something like that that's going to be a green item we are able to talk about something like uh, you know implement a final solution for marketing okay that's it save so when you're going to have the meeting now you are able to show this uh, one second more yep that's going to be a, a I would say that uh, would be something like uh, like recommendation or e even planned. You can you know put some you know my source or somebody behind that, and that's going to be Q one. So when we have this conversation, we put it in a context of a roadmap, right? Makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else we have? What uh, what else problem you see them having? So so the second issue is the applications that issue that we're we're currently not uh, managing. And it's a CRM, constantly having issues, timing out, and not saving information. So this this is also um, something they'd asked me to look into and see if I can probably. Now, so it's a, it's it's a it's a CRM project. Yes. CRM application uh, review. So what would be your job to do that, or application application project scoping, or what? First of all, I really want to see if this is the application that's the right right application for them to see if there's something better that they could use, something that uh, we're familiar with that would fall into their managed service agreement. So I create a CRM application evaluation project, jump into and say like the problem. Uh, we might not know what is the problem, so we make like a question mark here and the deliverables can be something like uh, like just a consultation probably on like consultation hours. And we're gonna give you like, uh, you know, four hours on the current plan <clears throat> and to be determined further commitment. And Adam, I would like to do that with you because I know it's part of your, you know, you don't want to charge this company immediately. You want to make sure you are seen as a trusted advisor, right? But what I want to make sure here is that when you start bugging this thing with a client, you are not, you are not going to talk about that as part of your managed service agreement. You're going to give them like four hours of consultation. That's going to be limiting. And uh, it's going to be framing you what you're going to do. So basically, uh, it's open. You can open up that when you have a meeting and, you know, jot down things and stuff. It's, it's good. All right. Uh, that's going to be probably Q2. And that's going to be more as a uh, uh, rec recommend. No, it's still planned. Perfect. What else we have? Give me one more. So the third issue is the most important. Um, two months ago, one of their employees had crypto locker. Thankfully and luckily, they didn't lose any sensitive um, okay. intellectual property, and we were able to fix it. But this is a huge risk in password compliance and uh, overall uh, infrastructure compliance. So uh, okay. I'm <coughs> suggesting so we, a password. Yeah. So we have a section for that, Adam, in this infrastructure report. Uh, policy and compliance, let's see, quality of user security. Uh, okay, can you tell me where they are currently? Do they have a like phone tablet lock? They do not. Uh, so let's make it future state desktop screen. They do not. Thumb drive. They do not. Okay, no pa password policy. Generic account disabled, strong password requirement. Probably that's already set. 
It's not a yes. bad idea. User security training. Uh, it's very basic, but I, I think there could be more education there. Okay, so here's the thing. Many many times they have it, but they don't utilize. So I make a note here that users are not utilizing the security training. Uh, classroom training recommended. Okay, sorry for my English here. But basically what I try to say here on behalf of you is that even if it's there, that's an issue here because they are not utilizing. So I want to make sure we are highlighting that here, okay? Uh, disk encryption, yes, no? Yes. So what I'm about to do is remediation of security audit. That's a pre uh, project which we can use, so I add it to the roadmap. So why this is awesome is uh, the following is the reason. Because you can put anything there as a security uh, audit uh, recommendation. This is like totally standard, but we're gonna use a little bit of the uh, password management, right? Yes. So I'm again like searching password, where we have password in this, we have an endpoint protection password. Oh. Uh, Oops, you see, we have a complete section for password management. So here's the thing. So they do not have a password management solution at all, right? None of the exactly. above. Now, it's yeah. really good because now we can have a future state, and the future state is going to implement adequate password management solution. Bang. Put it up as well. So let me know uh, which uh, system you use. You use... Uh, one pa one pass or uh, so we're one key partners and I, that would be our preferred vendor okay so basically we don't have to really change so much because we are run out of time uh, but basically deliverable provide process template deploy manage support password management system last pass which one you said one last pass is good uh, i use okay. that as well so yeah, so let's say last pass you're gonna delete this one info through group policies training admin users I think that's good enough for now. So if you see what I try to do is that uh, not just having these projects uh, scope, but more about like what is the reason, what is the bigger thing? Because if you think about that, implement adequate password management should be up here and probably a little bit immediate, but the a security audit should be done. Uh, so we need to have some si sort of security audit uh we have security audit it doesn't have anything so let me let me create for you one so there is a chance you need to create a, a, a it security audit later to make sure that you are actually proactively doing that so that's probably going to be here and i'm not sure it's like free or not or you ask anybody else to do that for you but that's on the road now okay so let's start Perfect. with that. Any other issue you know about? These are the main issues that I want to discuss in this QBR. Um, everything else is kind of manageable for now, but these are priorities. Okay, so what, what is the issue, what, what I try to uh, go through second. So we highlighted all the stuff which we know about. Now we're going to go through real quick on this exercise and make sure we are able to show them actually we are doing a lot of stuff great. Because many times you go to a meeting, Adam, and you are cornered because you don't or you haven't done like two things, but you did like 1,000 well. But they don't understand that they don't care. Uh, you want to make sure that you can protect yourself uh, in, a, in a sense. So let's go through the remaining uh, of that. So they are using Microsoft Office. Yes. 365, perfect. So that's awesome. How about their website? Is it hosted or you don't host them? I don't host them, but uh, but they have their own marketing team. Okay, so, your website. so in this case, what I suggest is that we take off this completely from the questionnaire, mm -hmm. because in this case, that's not relevant, so it doesn't matter to us. In this <clears> case, this is not going to affect their scoring which is great for this reason. Okay, email under Office 365. Office 365, yes. Awesome, no problem here. File share and sync is your yep. preferred solution or anything preferred else? Preferred solution. Okay, so basically, 
if you think about now, the cloud infrastructure is 100%. So when we are going to showing them, uh, we can claim that oh, Office 365, this is 100%. So it shows actually uh, that you do a ton of stuff, really great. Uh, go ahead, Office infrastructure, preferred gigabit or which is the major switching solution? Yep, they're using our preferred. That's the current state. Okay, how about wi wireless? We, we told about wireless. That's already here. Wiring? Do you wiring think is, yes, I think wiring is, is pretty good. They, they had a good uh, cabling partner complete their wiring. Okay, printing. Printers are hardwired to the network. Printers business class supported. Yes. Yeah, probably. Uh, are you sure all of them are like business class printers? Actually, I'm not sure, but uh, it, I, I think we need to scope and, and see if there's any so, extra printers. So what I suggest is just put it on the shelf for them to let them know that's not 100% correct or something. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, server infrastructure, utilize Microsoft servers. I guess yes. Other yeah, they're issues using our see? preferred. I don't see any issues here. All of them are under warranty. Nothing about these uh, end of life. I, I think there's there's one or two that could you know um, go through go through a warranty expiry in the next year or so. Warranty expires at end of twenty twenty. Um, so that's going to be a yellow flag here. That's it. All right, storage. Sorry, that's great here. Okay, sun. Uh, that's not important. They don't have a sun. Okay, I close it. NAS. Uh, yeah, they're using our preferred NAS under warranty. Awesome. So UPS. UPS is great, actually. Okay, that's awesome. Hypervisor, you are using that or not? I can turn it off if it's... No, nope. okay. we're not using it. Okay, policy and compliance. Now we have covered this user security, network security. Give me something or radius that's probably there. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what this means, but let's just say current uh, future state. Firewall, current state, domain, fire, current state, segmented Wi-Fi. Okay, so I mean, this is great to kind of highlight things, but it's we already put the security audit here, so it's nothing really more to talk about. Uh, so you're gonna dial that when you are having that. Uh, that. Okay, quality of endpoints, everything is business class or not everything, not every company. Not, not everything is business class. I think there's opportunity to mine for, for uh, future projects here. Okay. All computers are not under warranty. So that's a, that's a future state as well. Yeah. Okay. So this is good. Uh, so comment is like the warranty is the issue. Again here. Awesome. Endpoint protection. Uh, malware. Uh, malware. There's. Uh, they're not using our preferred. They're in the less preferred. So that's a. So that's a, that's again like a highlighting point. Uh, it's probably not super urgent, but we make a comment here to like uh, upgrade to the new. One, that's it, okay. Kind of yellow, awesome spam filtering. Um, currents, actually that's a future state. They're using our less preferred spam filtering solution too because that's how the crypto locker issue became a... Okay, so we are going to add that as well. That's great. Password manager already covered. Quality of multi-factor authentication. Any, any, anybody's like... Yes, we're currently not not managing this, so I, I think uh, we do need to scope yeah. the quality of their MFA. Okay, network protection, firewall, good ideas, good web filter. Do you have any issue with the web filter? 
Okay. Yes, we do. We do. So that's a, they're, they're not using, they're using some other app, what, what other web filtering solution. Awesome. <clears throat> Email encryption that's turned on mostly business continuity. Now, primary intent was the, they, do they have cable or what's the level? Yeah, they they have uh, fiber. So, fiber. That's... so that's awesome. Email archiving is part of Office 365. So that's great. Line of business application. Now, this is the issue here. You see the CRM solution you had. Now, you are actually not managing that. So uh, that part of that, actually, you are able to claim place that assessing their line of business applications and make sure you are putting under vendor management. So in this case, you have control over that. That's a big, uh, uh, probably, later opportunity here. Backup. It's good. So that was the last. Like, uh, Adam, uh, don't get me wrong. So in this QBR, what are you going to highlight uh, from this list? Obviously, everything that's not green. So. We want to cover off the things that are good, but directly talk about the risky issues. Yes, I mean, cloud, awesome. Office, probably not really so much, but like policy and conference and endpoint is a big deal. So when we're going to have a, uh, cover that, like you are able to show them like why these are a problem. So you click on the policy, showing them a couple of issues here or there. So if you do that and you start covering those uh, problems now when we are having here the conversation everything what you put here should be like uh, planned so in this case we have a uh, like a little bit separation here so this is their uh, ongoing roadmap so basically now you go in 30 minutes to the meeting and you can put together like implement a proper wi-fi go inside edit and change the scope after that, you are able to upload this to ConnectWise as a project or opportunity, so it's, you are covered. Uh, CRM, again, it's going to give you a bandwidth to work with them, but they're going to have the expectation that it's not infinitive, so it's going to protect you. Uh, password management, big deal, like uh, you can copy-paste here stuff, but if you ask how many duplicate password the CEO uses, it's going to answer the question immediately, like uh, why actually you need a management system. Because exactly. think about if you, Mr. CEO, using like three, four variation of your password, like what do you think your people using? Like uh, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, I would cover these couple of items here. And uh, you said the spam filter was like a high priority. So I would move it a little bit above. And uh, probably I would move that to issue as well. So we haven't covered that with them. So we don't have any permission to move forward. But actually, it's going to be a better indication that something wrong there. Um, and then uh, same thing with, with this security stuff. So everything which is really security related, like move it there. And malware as well. Okay, so here's the thing, Adam. Uh, the other thing you might uh, think of is that we have a recommendation roadmap here. Everything what in the recommendation roadmap uh, is under the scope of recommendations, scope of recommendations. So this is like the list of issues and projects. These are explaining those items which you would like to cover. So uh, the the same applies uh, if you would like to a little bit more um, indicative on the Wi-Fi network because that is a bigger issue. You click there and you move this whole problem section, select that, make it red. So it's a little bit kind of, I know, but everything is visual and what stands out. And when you refresh that, that's going to be in a printed report like uh, like like red. So I want to make sure like you you can actually show them like the value of what's happening, and you can use that with them. So second question is uh, I know that it's 
you are running up right now. So I would suggest to do a quick uh, print out for that and see how it look like. But I would like to suggest you to not really using the printed report, but sharing this with the client and, and go through uh, together. Why do, why do you think it matters to go through this with a client together? Why do you think it's more important to, 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 to work together? So that's the... Well, obviously I want to have a discussion on these things and in the discussion, there'll be some, maybe some changes, maybe some, some upgrades, maybe some notes. So if we're just going off a printed static report, I'm not able to, to change things around. So maybe if it's uh, in an interactive uh, process, then, then this will be a lot more um, beneficial for the client. Uh, usually what we see is that more involvement, more commitment. So uh, when you go through this with them together, like you can use your laptop, you can use a secondary monitor or something or a presentation, uh, something like that it's much easier to work together and then as you move things around the, the the feedback we had was like most of the MSP started having as a conversation not a presentation and that's why you you can be happily come to the meeting half prepared because mm -hmm. you don't have to be prepared for everything because you're gonna have like a task, yeah, sure, I have to check this, I have to check that, I have to go after. It's a conversation, right? But it's going to give you more confidence and give you the context why those items are important. So you have like 25 minutes. What do you think else you need to crank out this thing? No, no, I, this is perfect. I love this. I can, I can show them the current states where I'd like to take them talk about the risks, the issues, and suggest the projects that the system recommended me um, for them. So uh, this is perfect. Yeah, question. How much customization we have done before this session, Adam? We've done nothing. This has all been built in templates. We didn't customize a single thing yet. Uh, question to you. Uh, is it a problem for you that uh, these uh, items are not 100% relevant to the client currently? No, because I don't have any of this content anyways. So, so this is this structure is exactly what I need, and I can tailor it to make it my own. Okay, so, can you imagine that you are going to change this around with a client when you are with the clients together? So, do you feel uh, anxiety that this is not hundred percent professional uh, and not exactly what you usually do, but it's kind of. Uh, um, a template this is perfect I can I can work on this with the client the structure is there we can tailor it to, to suit the clients needs as well okay so basically that's it Adam and uh, you are good to go and uh, let me know how it went after you crash that perfect thank you Danish thank you Adam this is a good session thanks <laughs>